All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Walking Dead video leading up to the start for the ninth season of the Walking Dead television series, which we have coming up in just a few weeks now. In this one, we're gonna do our predictions after all the news, the summer, all the teaser trailers, all the info we've seen. What are our thoughts? What do we think they're gonna do with Rick? Rick's final episodes as AMC is promoting this season. Does that mean he will be killed off or does that mean he will somehow leave. All right, man, spoiler warning if any of you guys are not cut up for the Walking Dead television series. So I wanted to go ahead and do this one since we just have basically a few weeks now to the start of the Walking Dead Season 9. Very excited as we get closer here, starting to see all these kind of teaser trailers be released as usual from AMC. I'll put the link in the description to AMC's YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen uh, a lot of these different little clips and teasers, each one has like a little bit new, right? They kind of give you a little bit more, a little bit more each one. There's a clip of... Uh, Rick and Michonne and um, she's referring to him as like the famous Rick Grimes this kind of thing uh, because basically Rick is uh, is a hero for the joint communities he pretty much uh, defeated Negan so he saved them he gave them all their freedom and uh, you know you have a time skip in between so it's been a couple years you know the new newcomers to the communities will have probably heard of him but sometimes maybe not have uh, seen him and basically he's uh, looked at as the savior for the joint uh, communities not a savior but the, <laughs> the savior uh, maybe in the way the saviors used to look at uh, Negan minus the uh, you know the tyranny stuff so going into this season it's been a long summer um, you know it's sort of a uh, a who did Negan kill type situation again, right? With Rick, you know the question. It, so, so Trav, what do we think once and for all? Do your predictions. Tell us right now. What do you think? Are they killing Rick off, or is there any way he gets out of this one? Is there any way he gets out of this alive? Okay, so the fact that they promoted this, the fact that they've kind of uh, just really used it as a tool to help, you know, uh, advertise for the season, which I never ever thought they would in a million years. I even did videos this summer saying that I never thought they would ever do that, and that's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Uh, even re-uploading the trailer from Comic Con, uh, which is it's the same trailer, but they just you know added like uh, you know uh, uh, titles to it where it's like Rick's final episode. So this one is really crazy. Also, you got the helicopter in the background there all throughout. You got all this stuff going on. So what does it all mean? The key art has helicopters kind of behind Rick all the time. Um, you know, you've got uh, the whole kind of concept with Jadis of what was she doing with Negan last season. And it kind of seemed like Jadis has some kind of arrangement worked out with somebody, whether it be uh, some kind of a doctor at the Commonwealth or a different community where basically um, she was trying to deliver Negan to them but she missed the helicopter in time so she let him go now she was bringing up this kind of cart that had sort of a zombie chomper on it right that she could have had uh, it, it bite Negan and one of the fan theories that I've seen a few of you guys bring forward which I like a lot is that she was basically planning to kidnap Negan have him be bitten and then deliver him to this helicopter so that he could he could be brought off to be tested on uh, by some other new new group of characters or, or a third party here that basically uh, has probably been Dr. Frankenstein, maybe Day of the Dead style, doing experiments on people that have just been bitten to see if you can find some kind of cure. This has also been kind of, uh, if you've seen interviews with Andrew Lincoln over the years, um, the thing that he likes the most like is this cure idea right that he's the cure this kind of thing so uh after all of that the fact that the helicopter is everywhere the fact that last season you see the helicopter kind of go over rick which could be foreshadowing there as well too how do we tie this whole thing in together so this is what i think and then of course you've got john Bernthal returning as shane so after we've got all this information uh andrew lincoln has said in interviews that he would prefer if rick lived um, but, you know, of course, how are we going to see that? How is that whole thing going to play out? So, not spoilers, because we don't know for sure, but basically, this is what I think that they'll probably go with, is I think they'll kind of leave it somewhat open-ended. So, maybe you have him be bitten first, right? So, it's like, oh no, Rick's going to die. Oh my god, this is the worst thing ever, right? And then, <laughs> you have him be delivered to the helicopter and kind of sent off. Now, this gets him off screen. This gets him out of the story for now, and it kind of brings into question, you know, is he dying at this point? 
Is he dead? Is Rick actually fully dead? Or, you know, is there some way that he could be the cure or somehow he could? Because the television series does not have to be the same as the comics. They can go a different way. If Andrew Lincoln likes that approach and Gimble and the others are okay with it, the writing team thinks, okay, it works for us, then maybe that's what they could do. So, so basically, my prediction is this. I think uh, near the bridge there and some of those scenes or maybe afterwards, he's going to get bitten. Um... It'll probably be in some kind of uh, ambiguous type of circumstances where you don't know if uh, he was bitten by a whisperer. You don't know. See, so that's one out they can use. They can use that as an out where it's like he's bitten. He's kind of shipped off and we don't see him, but somehow he lives. So that they could kind of do it that way where they have an option later on if they want to bring him back or something, they might be able to work with that. Uh, you can have the scenes with, with Shane and everything like that after him being bitten. Um Maybe you could even have John Berthold kind of play the zombie that bites him or something like this, uh, or him just seeing things, right, as they've done before in earlier seasons. And then basically he's brought to the helicopter and he's uh, he, he leaves, and that's basically the last we see of him. So uh, this is what I'm thinking it will be some kind of open-ended type of thing where you're even, <laughs> even arguing about it at that point. Uh, you know, I mean, there's always... So there's three possibilities. One, it's open-ended, right? So they do something like this. And it'd be kind of frustrating for, you, for viewers because you wouldn't get that to definitive answer but it would be kind of like um, maybe like uh, like an open-ended ending type of thing where you can choose your own choose your own opinion on this one he's been bitten he's flying off in the helicopter does he die when he leaves or not and then it's kind of up to the viewer to kind of decide what happens to him and everyone can rewind the the tape over and over again and try to break it down to figure out if it was a whisper if it was a regular zombie and whether or not rick could survive a zombie bite and maybe that's the reason why we follow him so um that's kind of the the best the one that I think right now fits the situation best. Also because they've the best that the Walking Dead series has ever done, be it the season seven premiere, season five premiere. Um, they always had that kind of cliffhanger, you know, uh, keeping the audience guessing what's going to happen. So the who did Negan kill question, what's going to happen at Terminus, they're all stuck in the train car, how are they going to get out? Anytime they bring up these kind of, uh, you know, compelling uh, uh, cliffhangers that keep people just, you know, can't wait to see the next thing, uh, you know, uh, future behavior is best predicted by past behavior. So if that worked best for them before, I tend to think that they probably would do it again. You see what I'm saying? Like, like that would be... A thing that if it's worked for them up until now, you know, the best prediction you could you could make for people is that they do what they've done in the past. So they repeat the habits, so they do kind of the same thing they've done before. So this is the one I like best for Rick right now. In terms of predictions, this is what I'm thinking makes the most sense. Um, there's kind of some conflicting news about other time skips and things like that in here as well, too. So we'll have to see how that whole thing fits in. We'll have to see how the Maggie leaving thing fits in, uh, whether she's just killed and they, they're just lying or whether she actually does leave. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, you know, I mean, three options, right? The, the open-ended option or you just flat out kill him and bury him. You know, you do that option there. And that would f certainly fit with the Rick's final episodes promotion and things they've been doing there. Or the other possibility is that they do, um, you know, Rick leaves with Maggie, this kind of thing, on some kind of other journey. And then they can they can figure that out later, what they want to do with that at another time. And how they want to write that in to either, you know, do something with it. Or you just never see them again, this type of thing, if they can't bring them back. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. You know, the helicopter's all over the place. And I got to think it's got to mean something. I got to think it's there for a reason. So uh, I, think, I think Rick will go in the helicopter after he's been bitten so that it's left up to the viewer, basically to decide for themselves whether or not they think he's dead and he's going to die in the helicopter or if he'll get treatment if there's somebody who's found some kind of cure or something to the zombie apocalypse could be a new kind of story or a new kind of angle they work in the tv series that they never did in the comics um but it could be cool because there always was in the comics you get shot with a bolt and you're questioning whether or not the weapon was tainted whether or not he's going to die maybe something like that in the tv series version so that's the best i can do right now based on everything that we've seen so far not spoilers but uh, predictions uh and you guys can let me know man do you think it's that or do you think he's just going to be eaten by a, a herd of zombies or do you think that he'll leave with maybe another small group to Washington, D.C. or something like this to not be seen or heard from again? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to thumb it up below. You can also share. You can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one, guys. We'll see you again soon for another. As always, it's Trev. And I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.